Hi, my name is Rémi Bolduc. I am a sax player living in Montreal and teaching at the Schulich School of Music of McGill University. This is the first part of a series of videos that hopefully will help you improvise with the diminished scale. We will be exploring concepts using the diminished scale, first using the whole scale, then we'll break it into major and minor triads, then using tetratonic scales, four note scales, then five note scales, those are pentatonic scales, and finally hexatonic scales, six note scales. The diminished scale is symmetric. We can find the scale by dividing the octave in four equal parts. This division will give us four minor thirds. From this division, we can create a scale. To create a scale, we will now add one note between each one of the minor thirds. We can either add a tone or a semitone. Here we are adding one note, one semitone up, after each one of the minor thirds. If instead we add a note one tone up after each one of the notes, we have this scale. This process gives us two diminished scales. If we transpose them, we will realize that they are in fact only three diminished scales. They simply start on different notes. The diminished scale, when associated with a dominant chord, is played with the semitone followed by the tone. We refer to the scale as the half-whole diminished scale. Here are the three scales with all the chords they are associated with, including the diminished chords. The diminished scale is used a lot by the 20th century French composer Olivier Messiaen. French saxophonist Guy Lacour wrote a book of studies based on the different modes Messiaen used in his compositions. The book is entitled 28 Études sur les modes à transposition limitée d'Olivier Messiaen. It is a very interesting book and it introduces many nice diminished motifs. Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns by Nicolas Nanimsky is also a valuable reference. The first part of the book explores concepts derived from symmetry, and it is a book that John Coltrane used in his practice. In the next video, we will talk about how to improvise using the diminished scale. Thank you.